What is up, people? Van from the Vanverse Gaming Channel here, bringing you another video on Solas the Crown of the Magister. Uh, today's video, we're going to cover the level 4 spells available on Solas the Crown of the Magister. Similar to the other videos, we are going to go with a brief description of each spell, give you my opinion if I think it's a must-have or a nice-to-have or situational, or if it's terrible, don't pick it up. Um, we are going to start with the wizard spells as always, and then we will move our way into the cleric, druid, and ranger options, and we will go from there. So these should be shorter videos because there are less spells to cover, but we'll try and go in a little bit more detail since we're getting to the higher levels. So let's get started with the first spell, which is banishment. So banishment is a spell that works really, really well on extra planar creatures like elementals. They have to roll a Charisma saving throw. If they fail, they are banished for the duration of one minute. The caveat is, in Salas, the Crown of the Magister, if you banish a creature and then you kill everything else in the fight, the creature never comes back, the fight is over, and you gain the experience points for it. Once you cast it at a higher level, you can target more than one creatures. In Salas, the Crown of the Magister, as you get higher levels, you're going to be fighting uh, fire elementals and elementals quite often. And so being able to remove them from the field, kill everything else, and then they stay gone permanently is going to be huge later in the game, which is why this is a must-have spell, in my opinion. Going into the next spell, we have Black Tentacles. This is an interesting spell. It lasts for one minute, but it is on a strength saving throw. So depending on what you cast this on, it's their likelihood of saving is probably going to be very slim. And it restrains creatures, and they take 3d6 bludgeoning damage and they are slowed as they walk through it. So this is a really nice spell as a CC. I think there's other concentration spells that are probably gonna be benef more beneficial at this point, but this is an okay spell, situational, not a must have. Blight. Blight is a great spell when you first look at it, but then when you realize it's a constitution saving throw and that most creatures have a constitution that's pretty high, there's a good chance they're going to save. So the 8d8 necrotic damage is not always going to hit. When you look at Fireball that does 68 fire damage, uh, those two additional d8s to cast a fourth level spell, I just sometimes don't think this is worth it. Some people might disagree, but for me, I usually don't pick up Blight because I never seem to get what I really want out of it. All right, let's go to Confusion. Creatures' confusions are erratic behavior. So this is a one minute. They have to succeed on a Wisdom saving throw. Uh, it's a 18, so in a, um, sorry, in a 10-foot radius. Basically, at the start of the turn, your creature can move away, not act at all, melee attack a target within reach, etc. So basically, you're trying to uh, give them the ability to do one of these random actions. Again, concentration, not really worth a, uh, a fourth level spell slot, in my opinion. So I don't usually use this. I think this is a terrible spell, and I don't usually pick it up. Same with Conjure Minor Elementals. Um, again, Conjure Elementals as we get higher I think is going to be better. The Scar and Ghoul, the Wind Snakes, and the Fire Jesters, I just don't think they're that strong. And to use a fourth level spell to cast them, it, I just don't think you get your bang for your buck. I mean, if you're looking for a way to put creatures on the field to take damage so your, your characters don't, at this level you get way more out of other spells. And again, it's another concentration, so I don't think this is a great spell at level 4 either. Uh, getting to Dimension Door... This is one of those spells that are fun, pretty cool. Uh, it can teleport you pretty far away, but to be quite honest with you, uh, it's just not worth picking up or slotting, and so I don't use this spell either. This is a terrible spell in my book. Same with Fire Shield. In 5th edition, I've used Fire Shield a lot. Um, it gives you a cold or fire resistance, and then attackers against you actually take damage of either cold or fire, depending. It lasts 10 minutes. Um, this is not a concentration spell, which is pretty nice, but to burn a fourth level spell slot for this when you can use it for other things, I just don't really think this this is a situational spell. It's not terrible, but there's going to be certain situations this is great and others where I think this isn't worth it. Greater Invisibility. So this spell is probably one of the more fantastic spells out there. Um, it kind of is like haste in the way where when you cast it on someone, you have to concentrate on it. But for one minute, they are invisible. They can attack, they can do all of the things that they could normally do, and it won't break invisibility. So if you cast it on anybody, they're going to have advantage on all their attacks. You cast this on a rogue, which is level 7, and with their sneak attack damage, you're guaranteeing that every time a rogue attacks, it's going to have sneak attack damage as long as you don't lose concentration. So 
It's an amazing spell. It gives everybody the one target the ability to do lots of damage, have advantage all the time, and depending on how you build your party, this is a really great spell to have in your arsenal. It's situational depending on your classes, but it, it is a great spell. Ice Storm. I like Ice Storm a lot because Ice Storm is an AoE damage dealing effect that is not concentration. So it does 2d8 uh, bludgeoning damage and an additional 46 cold damage and anyone in the area is slowed as they walk through it. And it is not a concentration. And so it's one of the more effective AoE damage spells that's not a concentration. But again, you're probably better off using a fireball. The reason why I like Ice Storm is if you are fighting creatures that are fire, you know, vulnerable, this thing can wreck their faces. So and again, another situational spell. I like to keep it in my arsenal just because there's no concentration on it. Identify creature, waste of a spell. Don't pick it up unless you're just having fun and want to learn all about all the different creatures. Phantasmal Killer. This one's an interesting one. Um, wisdom saving throw. One target within one minute. Uh, creature is frightened, receives psychic damage each turn until it succeeds on a successful saving throw. So it does 40 10 psychic damage every turn if they continue to fail their wisdom saving throw. So again, very situational depending on um, it could be really great and they could keep failing and do lots of damage or it could fail after one turn and they could pass their save and then you just wasted a spell. All right, moving on to Stone Skin. Stone Kin lasts for an hour. It is a concentration spell. You need a diamond that is consumed, and it just basically gives you resistance. Honestly, it's a waste of A, a diamond, B, a spell slot, concentration, don't pick it up. And then finally, the one and only, probably next to Banishment, that is a must-have in Slots Crown Master's Wall of Fire. This is by far the strongest spell, the most effective spell. Um, it does 5d8 fire damage. You can either have it be around your party, so you can put all four party members inside of it, and then everything has to run through the fire to get to you. Or you could do it the other way around, where basically you put the fire around the creature. So if they try and leave that area, they have to run through the fire. You can put it in a wall, and they have to run through it. There's just so many actual uses for this. It's just it's an amazing spell that, to me, this is the number one fourth level spell you have to pick up if you are playing a wizard. So that covers all the arcane magic type spells. So let's get into the Divine Cleric spell. Alrighty, moving on to the Cleric spells. We have ourselves only two or three spells on here that are not covered under the Arcane Wizard. That's going to be your Death Ward spell. So for eight hours, you can grant one creature, Bond Touch, that if they were to be reduced to zero hit points, they go to one instead. And so it's preventing an instant death from a massive damage effect either. So say you're at low hit points and you get crit, if you take your maximum hit points in damage then you're dead dead so let's just say you have one hit point left and your max hit points is 20 and you get hit for 22 damage you are perma dead and we are starting the game over um, so this is a death ward ability to prevent that from happening to be quite honest this is a waste of a spell there's way too many things in Solasta that you don't need to slot this spell in fifth edition DD, this is very helpful situational but in this game it's just a waste same with freedom of movement. To me, some things cost, cast snare on you. Some things do have paralyzed. But to be quite honest, don't even don't even bother with this. It's not worth it in Solasta. It, there's just other spells at level four that are better. And then finally, we get to the Guardians of Faith. So this is a pretty great spell. Um, it is an AOE that as long as things are in it, they have to roll a dexterity saving throw, and it will continue to do 20 points of damage over and over again for a certain amount of turns until it goes away. Um, so depending on how you position yourself, this can be a really nice spell. It is very situational, um, so you might not use this all the time. So when it comes to cleric spells at level 4, depending on what your domain choice is, there's not a lot of great spell choices for a cleric at 4th level. So now let's go look at the druid 4th level spells. Alright, so druid 4th level spells, there's really only two spells on this list that are druid only. Uh, first one is coming in is Dominate Beast. So basically what this does is it grants you control over a beast. So the creature's actions are totally controlled by the caster. So if there is a beast that is around, you literally can take it over and control it as if it was your character. So depending on what beast you're fighting, I don't know if this is necessarily worth a fourth level spell slot. 
to have control over one of the different beasts. There's not a lot of beast creatures that are high enough level that would be beneficial. I think you can use Wall of Fire instead of this. I'd, this is situational, maybe close to terrible. Um, I would prefer Wall of Fire for sure. And then Giant Insects. So this is a cool spell if you've ever um, played 5th edition tabletop where you like gather a bunch of insects and you make them grow large. In this game, it summons a deep spider. Um, the deep spider is a very dangerous spider. They do a lot of heavy damage. Um, so from a conjuration standpoint, it's probably way better than the conjure minor elementals at this level. I still think conjuring two dire wolves is probably better and more bang for your buck and using your level four spells for wall of fire. But you can get a lot of, a lot of, uh, good damage from this spider. Um, so it is a decent spell. Just remember, it does require your concentration. So this is situational, um, but overall, when it comes to the Druid, none of the Druid-only spells to me are must-haves, um, and that is the Druid. So I do believe there is no more other spells to choose from at 4th level. Uh, Paladins and Rangers have pretty much fallen off at this point because they don't get a 4th level spell slot um, as they level up in Solasta. And so now we're going to move on to the fifth and sixth level spells in the next episode. So hopefully this video was helpful. If you have any questions or comments on any of the spells I covered, please leave them in the comments below. If you like these videos on Solasta, go ahead and give us a like. You can sub to the channel and click the little bell. I'm going to have more videos coming out on Solasta, and then you can also see all the videos I've already created. Again, thank you for watching. Cheers, and peace out.